just want to remind you, if you're interested in coaching with me, you can look at the options in the box below. I have some one-to-one -one options. I have some courses uh, for healing the gut. Uh, Baby Body Ready is coming out soon. And there's a Voxer support package as well as family makeover package. So just let me know if you don't see what you need, but it should be down there. And I hope you enjoy this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, so today, this isn't gonna be a super long video, but I need to address this. It's a mindset issue, and it's relevant to you, you across the board if you are desiring to become healthier, and in particular, if you've been watching my most recent videos, which are about healing the gut, uh, digestive issues in general, it's going to apply to you a little bit more strongly or specifically, but it needs to be talked about because, again, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. That's a Wayne Dyer quote. And basically what it means is your perspective is everything, right? The way you choose to see something is going to dictate how you think about it and therefore how you feel about it. And your feeling state is your creation state, right? So it's our thoughts and our feelings and then what happens from there, we act, right? So let me jump back for a second and tell you what the heck I want to talk to you about. In this video, I want to talk about the idea that you're sacrificing something if you are healthy, where other people can eat a certain way and not get sick or not be triggered or not get inflamed or not get a, a stomach response or stomach ache or pain. Or let's say you have friends and you're going out and you're thinking like, well, they can eat like that and not gain weight or be thin or whatever the story is and you're feeling different or left out or like you're missing out. Um, I have a video about FOMO. I'll link it for you guys um, up top. But the short part of this really is I want you to think about what you said you wanted. Most people that come into this conversation, they're saying, I want to be healthy. I want to eat healthier. So if you want to eat healthier, it's probably because you want something out of that, right? Like it's a benefit, a result, a lack of a symptom, getting rid of symptoms or feeling better. But ultimately what that means is that you are going to become a healthy person. The identity of I am healthy, when you have that as your mantra, when you have that as this is who I am, then trying to eat healthy is not a thing anymore. It, it doesn't mean it's automatically easy for you or second nature to you or super familiar to you, but what it does mean is that it stops being this thing that's causing you a pain in the butt, okay? Because it's what you want. It's what you said you wanted. If you ultimately want to be healthy, you are going to eat healthy food all the time, mostly, right? Mostly all the time, you are. And guess what? It's not gonna suck. It's not gonna suck. It's not gonna be painful. You won't even think that other people have it better than you. Why would you think that? Why would you think that? I don't think that. When I see other people eating foods that are not really real or good for you, I don't like it, but I can't judge them, right? Because that's gonna just reflect something within me, thinking that like it's better to be healthy or I'm better because I'm healthy. It's That's not it. It's that Food works for us humans, okay? So it makes me sad. It makes me feel like, I don't know, I just want for everyone to have health. I want for them to own it. I want for them to take responsibility, but not everyone will, okay? So I guess what I'm speaking to you about today is what do you really want? Because if you really want to be this healthy person, that means that your drive 
towards feeling good in your body and understanding it and trusting it to feel well and trusting that it's going to work right and keep you feeling good for a long, long time, that that's more important than what anyone else eats at a restaurant. And it's more important than what any restaurant has on its menu. And it's more important than what the grocery store even has. Like, I get it, you guys. I live in the Midwest. And when we travel to, like, family, it's often to small towns. So I bring my own food because there isn't always options. And I bring my own food to dinner sometimes. And when I go to a restaurant, most of the time now I can find things that I want, but sometimes I can't and I do the best I can. And I'm not saying you can't ever eat something that's not healthy and be fine because you can, you totally can. But it's this, the issue that I want to speak to is why are we looking at people and saying like, oh, wish I could be like that. No, you don't. You just said you didn't. You just said you wanted to be healthy, and a healthy person would never want to consume foods that harm the body, okay? So I want you to just completely look at this differently. Let's say you go out to eat with your friends, and they're going to um, like a fast food place. I'm going to like direct this to like younger kids because I know that it, there's a lot of um, peer pressure, right? And fast food is cheaper, and economical and like, I don't know, people think it tastes good. And I just want you to know, like, let's say you have a goal to change your body, change your health, and your your friends are like eating fries and hamburgers and you're not feeling good, okay? I want to pour into you to say, I'm so proud of you. Look what you're doing for your life. You're learning at a young, young age that what you put into your body every day is counting and every day it's adding up and every day it's going to matter and that your body is loving that you're giving it to it, whether you see the results yet or not, it is working. It is working. So I want you to shift into the identity of, I love that I am a healthy person. I am proud that I am a healthy person. I'm so proud that I search out real food no matter what. I'm so proud of myself that I order from Instacart, that I look ahead on menus, that I call them, that I tell the people at the restaurants that I have an allergy to canola oil even if I don't because I don't want canola oil in my beautiful body. All these things, right? So it really just shows you, if you get triggered by things like this, if you feel bad or sad or judgmental about things like this, you just haven't completely gotten into the identity yet that like, dude, I'm healthy and I'm owning it. Like, I want this. This matters to me. There's things in your life that you draw a line in the sand and I want you guys to draw a line in the sand before you have to draw a line in the sand. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't know, right? And a lot of times, this is what happens with chronic health conditions or infertility or gut issues or weight that you can't lose. It's like, why isn't this working? It's because you, we don't know. We, no one has told us how this works because no one has told us, taught us from the beginning. And like, it's no one's fault. It's not, it's not your parents' fault. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like the world, the conditioning is not geared to grow up babies and children to like eat vegetables and fruit mostly, right? Because then they'd be so powerful and they wouldn't need certain aspects of our economy. And you know, maybe they don't want you to be powerful, but you are. I just, you are powerful. So Think about how can you own that you are a healthy person? How can you love it? How can you be proud of it? How can you stop complaining that it's hard? Because it won't keep being hard if you keep practicing it. I promise, you know, get support, get help. Um, I'm coming out with something so cool, you guys. Like, oh, I'm like dying. I can't tell anybody. And anyways, I just want real options, the knowledge, the choices, the how-tos to be so at your fingertips that you're going to be like, this is easy. I want this. I'm feeling amazing. I'm feeling better every day. And I can't think of anything more important than like taking care of this, 
taking care of yourself. And you are taking care of yourself when you're taking care of your health, when you're taking care of your body, you're taking care of your family by taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your friends because every everything you feel in your body and your health when you don't feel well, that influences your emotions. And it's hard to be emotionally stable when you don't feel well in your body. Like I know, I know. So instead of thinking, this is hard, I can't do this, the restaurant should be better, Yes, they should, but we're changing it. And we change it every day by being kind and pursuing what we want, looking for real food, asking for it in a kind, compassionate way, searching it out, buying it, you know, fueling the the market or the the profit to the producers for creating organic foods and whole foods and healthier options all the time. You know? So you get to choose all the time. But at some point, you have to choose. You have to choose. Do you want it or do you not want it? I hope you want it, okay? So I hope you like this video. I didn't mean to yell at you, and I'll talk to you next time.